Hey everybody, this is Leslie from Black Duck Vintage dealing with a little wind today and uh, heading to an estate sale and hopefully it will be pretty good. This estate sale company is usually one of the best here in the metro Detroit area. Um, and we'll see, we'll see. Sometimes I'm not allowed to have cameras in their estate sales, so we'll see if I can. Hopefully I can with this one. And uh, we'll see how this one goes. Cross your fingers. The jewelry here was so beautiful, but so expensive, which actually I wasn't surprised about. But what I ran into with this place is that almost everything was gold and diamonds and just way, way, way out of my price range. Um, there was one piece that was vintage and really early and it was in that back area, which you see kind of in the back blurred, but the chain was replaced and it really wasn't something that I wanted to pick up. But um, a lot of these pieces were um, either semi-precious stones or precious stones, and they were actually priced in the hundred. So the weekend of estate sales have been really crappy. So I'm at the flea market again, and they've got like an outdoor area today. And so we're gonna take a look and see what we find in the outdoor area before we go in to see my friend. So let's see what we find. Lots of uh, junk <laughs> so far. a lot of stuff for guys here today. Um, let's see. Let's see if we find anything over in this area. I'm thinking it's, uh, we got some toys, but I know nothing about toys. Bottles. Everything is just like strewn about. <laughs> Definitely an outdoor garage sale. Yeah. Lucky brand, 35. Yeah, <laughs> I think I could go to Salvation Army and do better. Two for 30?
t-shirts letters yeah Dried morels. Okay, here's a kind of a cool table. They've got some old buttons and pins and coins. Ooh, hello. Oh. Bigger than a thousand. What happened was, that's my right. I bought that army pack. I know you did. If you didn't have change or something. No, but um, I had two of them. I think you think I just had one. Oh, okay. Well, you're an honest man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you got two of them. Yeah. Because okay. that's what I thought about that. Is um, this brooch right here? Twenty. Twenty. It's worth that. That's an old, nice piece. It's a beautiful piece. Yeah, it's worth more than that. Yeah, and then this cameo. That would be five. Five. Okay, I'm gonna take both of these. Okay. Um, and then. Well, that's pretty. Yeah, that that little piece that brooch is probably worth. Hundred dollars, seventy-five, hundred. That is beautiful. Um. Yeah, I'll take both of those. Uh, this is worth 25. That's really pretty too. That's a silver, that's a nice piece. Yeah. Um, 15. That I gotta have 20 for that. Yeah. Well, just see, sure. you bought 25. No, that's okay, I get it. I'm not sure that I love it, okay. love it, that's so. That's a nice agate. Yeah, that's pretty. Hey, how you doing? Let's see. It's an older locket for pictures. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Come on. Go ahead and look. What I sell, okay. you know, I paid good money yeah. for stuff I can really use. I know you do, that's why I'm giving you a good deal. Thank if you, you just came up here, I would only gave you, offered you 15, you could have kept the stuff. Thanks, but because you buy for me, we trade. Thank you. Thank you, enjoy the day. That's a gorgeous piece. That is. You how, sapphire. How much is this one? I gotta have. Is this silver? Oh, God, yeah, all my rings are silver. I sell my stuff at a good price. I was asking 65 for that. You'd pay 100 for that, but I'll go yeah. 40 to you because you're buying the other stuff. Okay, and then this piece? That's older than the other one you looked at. Yeah. This one, this is a nice piece. Yeah. I was asking 35 for this. Um, I'll go 20. And this one? I gotta have 70 for that. Okay. That's worth a lot more than that. You know what that is, right? It's Judith Jack. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. And those, that's worth some money, those pieces. Yeah. I normally would ask about that piece. I think the lady that had that bought it paid 200 and something for it. Could be, yeah. Uh, oh, there ain't no doubt about it. Yeah. Somebody yeah. wanted to buy just that piece and offer me $40, but I wasn't going to take it apart. Yeah. 
see. Yeah, see. There's a lot of weed in this piece. I'll go 20 yeah. if you want it. Okay. All right. Let me see. You'll I think. It. Wow. So that was a great guy to find. So we're going to definitely come back and see him. And um, I'm going to go in and see Ace right now. And I'll come out and I'm going to get at least two items there. I saw a cameo bracelet. I might be grabbing that too. So um, get out of the wind and get into the warmth. All right. So I got three pieces from him and I paid up for that cameo bracelet. But God, that cameo bracelet was gorgeous. I think I showed you guys that. Um, if not, I'll show you in the haul. Oh my God, it was so gorgeous. Um, it's a cameo bracelet. It's in 800 silver and it's the three muses. And oh, I'm so excited for it. It's gorgeous. And here I am to my car. And I have Miss Angel with me. She loves going everywhere, everywhere with me. And uh, I think we're gonna head home now. All right. Uh, and then we'll do a haul. And hopefully <laughs> I will have, oh, let see, she's got a little bit of a rash here. Um, oops, hopefully I will have some auction wins by the time I get home. We'll see. Yay. So my auction wins came in and we're going to go through those in a little bit too. And so I'm super excited. Um, I've got all my jewelry on the table from earlier. Plus my espresso, because I am exhausted today. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna open this up, throw them all on trays, and then we are going to do a quick haul video. And uh, yeah, so let's see what we got. Okay, so we're on to the haul from the weekend. Um, I am gonna probably go back to the flea market uh, tomorrow because there is somebody that's going to be seeing um, Ace, who is my vendor that I go see over at the flea market. And he, uh, supposedly he's gonna be bringing, this person is gonna be bringing uh, a lot of uh, vintage jewelry, brooches, Bakelite, that type of thing. And so uh, he's gonna be showing up there sometime around noon. So I'm gonna go back and see if there's anything and uh, if there is, then maybe there'll be a second haul video. So, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and go through everything that came in over the weekend and everything that I picked up. So we're gonna go through some of the things that came in on auction first, and uh, then we'll get into the things that I purchased. Um, so I'm gonna move my tray kind of over off to the side, and then we'll adjust for the lighting. My table's getting all scratched up. Okay. So um, this is the first piece here, let's see, this necklace, um, come on, there we go, there we go. So I'm not positive what kind of stone this is, maybe somebody can pipe in on this one, um, really pretty like type of agate I would assume. And, uh, but just a really nice piece. And it's got little pearls in between. And this is a sterling silver. It is marked sterling, come on, come on. Yeah, it's marked 925 right there. Um, really pretty necklace. So I got, picked up that, it was a whole necklace lot. Um, that one was the stone one in there. And then there was this really longer, necklace um, that's like a leather and gold chain. And then this kind of plastic bead one, but it's kind of a cool look to it. So I thought that was kind of fun. Not sure what's going on, there we go. Um, so yeah, I like those. Now I'm not giving prices on any of these. If you had seen my last video, um, I am not doing prices anymore in the videos. You are more than welcome to message me if you are interested in any of the pieces. Just get, go ahead and give me a timestamp. Um, but I am going to uh, do a members only live sale, buy it now live sale. Um, that is going to be the pre-sale now and then anything left over after that, feel free. Um, 
and I can, you know, give you the prices on a lot of those pieces. So that is kind of how I'm doing it now. I'm just not a big fan of doing the prices in the pre-sale videos, at least. I'll still do some clearance lives, that type of thing. Um, okay, so this is another really pretty necklace. I love the colors in this. This is also plastic beads, though, as well. So, but that's a really pretty piece. Um, and then same here with this. This is another nice one with the purples. I like that one as well. So that is, those are the plastic necklaces. I like the gold on that. Um, and then those are all kind of like 80s, kind of whatever. But this one here, this one is really cool. So this one is all like that chunky lucite and um let me get this I think that, can, that can go any no there we go that's the brightest it can go I'm not sure why um but yeah that's the um this is like a chunky lucite and uh I just love it it's got kind of like a iridescent kind of quality it there's some like wear on the lucite here but still, this is just so, so cool. This chunky lucite bead. Um, and then it has Western Germany on here. Just such a cool necklace. I absolutely adore this. Definitely choker length. Super fun. Um, and then this necklace came in a lot as well. Look at this. this how funky and fun is this one? This is just so cool. I love this. This is not marked, I don't think. Yeah, not marked at all, but the colors in this, just super fun. I really like that wood beads, glass in there. Just super cool. I really like this one. So that's all in there. Um, then we got uh, this necklace in an auction lot. And this is a um, kind of a lucite or a resin kind of bead, but it made to look like stones. And uh, this is actually a Chico's necklace. So that came in a lot, one of the auctions. I just like the length and the colors of it. So I picked it up. It was, I think, a pretty good buy. So I picked that one up. Um, then, this was in the auction lot. Now this I need to repair somehow. I knew it was broken. It was a lot of three necklaces. This was one of them, but I knew this one was broken, but look at these cloisonne beads. Um, really pretty cloisonne beads in here. Um, it is supposed to be a triple strand, but one of the strands is broken. So, which is too bad, but really, really, really pretty, pretty necklace. I love those cloisonne beads and it's just almost like they're kind of free floating and then these kind of copper beads are really pretty too so really nice little necklace selection um now this necklace is two others here this was all part of the same lot that cloisonne and then this one here is supposedly uranium glass now i need to find my little black light so we can test it let's see okay i have my black light let's test and see if this is truly uranium glass um turn out these two lights and we'll just... oh yeah definitely uranium glass I don't know if this heart is or not. Nope, not the heart, but just those two. Um, see if I need any other, the other beads. Nope. So these two are uranium glass beads. That's super cool. I did notice, and this was not disclosed in the auction, but of course, you know, you can't go back. Auctions are final sale. Um, but this bead right here, come on, there we go. This bead is cracked. Um, so nothing I can do about that, but still, it's a really cool necklace. I think it was repurposed. So I think these beads were repurposed because um, this looks pretty modern down here at the bottom, but still a really cool necklace. Um, it does have a lobster claw clasp. 
This is a really great necklace. These are um, Murano glass beads. Beautiful, beautiful Murano glass with the encased flowers. And uh, absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely necklace. It does have a barrel clasp. There's a little bit of, um, you know, looseness, like where it's loose here on the wire, bead wire, but beautiful Murano glass necklace. So that one came, those three necklaces were all in one lot. Um, then anything else came in? Okay, so then we're moving into, oh, and then I got this, I think it's Robert Lee Morris RLM. This is signed, a signed ring. I believe this is Robert Lee Morris, RLM signed ring, size eight, beautiful sterling silver ring. So that came in. That was a really pretty purchase. And then these earrings. Now these earrings are a 950 silver and it has onyx. They are screw back. And these, I'm trying to read this. I think it says either TSM, TS-1, I can't tell, but I feel like that's a signature. And then also, if you go on the back of this, it says sterling and then there's like a leaf or something on there. It's, I'm trying to do a little more research on these, on this sterling. It's really a pretty, pretty piece there. Um, and then I was in, I did an auction where I won several, several brooches and pieces. And here's some of the pieces. And this was an auction down in Texas. Um, I won this beautiful uh, damascene bracelet. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? A damascene panel bracelet. Super pretty. Love that one. This brooch, which is just stunning, it's unmarked, rhodium plated back, really, really pretty. This piece almost looks like it could be Czech or something with that filigree. Um, there is no marks on it, but it is just really stunning. This brooch, look at that. It does. It's it's um, it's japanned, and it to me it gives. It's really heavy. It looks to me almost like it's a Weiss. Um, I'm, I had a Weiss that was very similar to this. I don't think it's a Regency. I don't know that, I, I did Regency do Japanning? I'm not sure. Um, I don't think Juliana did Japanning. I'm trying to think the other big butterfly people. But Weiss I know did Japanning. This is not marked though, but Weiss, oops, Weiss did a lot of pieces that were not marked. Um, uh, there was a little, this was kind of thrown into one of the lots. Um, this is a gorgeous piece. So this is a made in Portugal um, enameled brooch. And it does have the Portugal right there. And I, I can't read it the, can't read the top, but I know I looked this up. This is on sterling. It's like a vermeil, maybe sterling. Um, I did research on this. I have to look on the auction sheet to find out all the information, but I did research on this. This is actually a very um, collectible type of vintage brooch out of Portugal. Um, I'll have more information during the live probably. Um, I'm just trying to whip through this so everybody can see it. There's such cool pieces here. Um, but yeah, this is this is gorgeous. But yeah, this is like a enameled sterling. Um, then this piece here is so cool. And this is a carved piece and it's a House of Schrager. Um, I didn't, I, I had not heard of House of Schrager, but it's very collectible. And, uh, this is some damage that it has, some chipping to the coating, but, um, I'm sure that affects the value, but I'm not sure to what level. And I'm not sure if there's any way to like prevent it from keeping on like the, if the chipping, like preventing that chipping from carrying on. 
Um, this I won, this to me seems very, very vintage. I love the Christmas wreath here. Um, trying to keep all the Christmas pieces separate, but I love that one. Um, this was another piece in that vintage brooch auction from Texas. Looks a little bit newer, but it's still quite stunning, quite beautiful. Um, and this one too. I do think that this one might be a newer brooch. I couldn't tell from the photos. Um, they weren't very clear on this one. I couldn't tell, um, but I took a chance on it. I didn't put a super high bid on it, and, but I still won it. So I was happy and it's pretty blingy. So I like it. I think I'll take it. Um, and let's see this one and this or the other two, I think this one is, how cool is this? And it's got this like wavy kind of dimensional look and I love the emerald baguettes on there super cool that's a really nice one and then I think the last one from the auctions is this piece and it's this little heart with the in these little like cupcake settings I love this that's the back of it so the auction wins were really lucrative this week so that was all the auction wins now um, my win or my, I guess my, th uh, haul from the, from the thrift store or not the thrift store from the flea market was pretty darn amazing. I have to say, and I was really thrilled with it. Um, I'll save my, my bests for last. Um, so definitely hold on to the end. Make sure that you stay. If you like my content, please subscribe. I really would love it if you would subscribe. Um, but I'll keep my best pieces for last. So um, let's see. When I went to see Ace, uh, these were some of the pieces that I found. Um, I believe this is maybe a type of Damascene. I'm not positive, but this bracelet I thought was super cool really like that one um and then this brooch i thought was gorgeous i'm trying to figure out the age on this one i don't know it looks really old but at the same time i'm not sure if it is um if anybody has opinions on this let me know i would love to know uh, what your opinion is to me it looks old but I feel like maybe it's a reproduction, um, a very good reproduction. So let me know what your opinions are. Um, this is a great little enamel brooch. Let me take it off the paper. Um, great little enamel brooch here. Um, look at that rose. It's very lifelike. Isn't that great? So great little enamel rose. Um, got a couple. Ooh necklaces this is just a nice long necklace with mother of pearl some silver uh, tone beads and then some blue crystals to kind of offset and uh, it's really long and it does have a does it have a tag yeah it has a tag that says it's a Leah Sophia I just love the colors not not vintage or anything but just the colors and everything I thought were really pretty so I picked up that one up and then also this one really heavy um I don't know I think these are glass beads um they they're heavy 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 long strand all individually knotted and then this is the pendant part at the bottom and it's a pearl with these crystals around it and then this really pretty aqua blue fringe tassel. This is gorgeous. Really, really, really long. Probably close to 40 inches, I'd say. Just stunning. Um, I thought this parrot brooch, super adorable. Definitely newer, but I just thought it was adorable. Look at the back. Definitely a bad glue job, but I just thought it was cute and fun funky um this is a little enameled almost like cloisonne enameled seashell very very lightweight really pretty so i picked that one up just because i thought it was really unique 
Um, I love cluster brooches, so of course I grabbed the cluster brooches and found an orange one, found a black little wreath one. So I grabbed those. This one wasn't a cluster brooch, but it was really pretty. I love the pinks, the pink enamel. That's the back of it. It made me, I think it's, I think it is old. I mean, it definitely looks from the back. Isn't that pretty? I love that pink. Pink's gorgeous on that. Um, found another enamel flower. Look at that pretty green. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Just needs a little cleaning, but I thought that was great. So that was a good find. Um, and then this is a great, trying to save the best here for last. So this is a great necklace. So this is a, is it double strand, triple, triple strand? Triple strand glass bead necklace. Look at these, so fun. Some mother pearl too, but look at those. Look how fun that is. Isn't that great? That's a fun necklace. Um, okay, so now we're getting into some of the really cool stuff. Oh, here's another fun little butterfly. Grab that one too. All right, so some of the fun stuff. Oh, and this butterfly too, this little in, inlay in the, um, mother of pearl. I thought that was gorgeous. Um, so Russian brooch. I love these Russian brooches. I picked this one up. This one's not signed. Usually they are, but this one's not signed, but I just thought that was absolutely gorgeous with the sleigh and the horses. Super pretty. I picked up the Sarah Coventry brooch. Look at that um, cabochon. It's so pretty. It's like an Easter egg. And then it says it's signed Sarah Coventry. It's so gorgeous. Um, I found these brooches. These will not be available for sale anytime soon because I really, really, really do feel that these are some kind of artist made brooch. And I really want to find out who this artist is because I just think these are so cool. Um, and they're, this guy has like a little cape on and he is almost like a little warrior dancer. And then this is a person with a little tambourine or something dancing, just way too cool. Um, this was a really pretty brooch with the branches and the bronze and AB crystals. Okay, a Czechoslovakian clamper bracelet. That was an incredible find. Look at that. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? stunning and I am in love with it. Look at how those just curl around. It's almost like uh, like a flower. So beautiful. This absolutely gorgeous brooch. I just uh, look at that and just flares up like that. Oh, so pretty at the black and the, and the clear crystal. Um, this necklace is so cool. I wasn't sure if that was Bakelite or not. It is not Bakelite, but these. this is such a pretty, pretty necklace. So um, this is some kind of old plastic and it's just so, such a pretty piece. So it just goes down into this V and then it's got the pendant hanging, so pretty. Um, this, you might probably saw this in the video this is that garnet colored, um, garnet colored brooch at the back. I don't know how old this is. Based on this backing, I don't know that it's as old as it looks. I don't know. I just thought it was so stunning. It's gorgeous. Um, this was at an estate sale. Uh, online estate sale that was local. So you went online, you picked out your stuff, you bought it, and then you went and picked it up at the house. Um, but this is a check, like a check pendant necklace. And, but really it's the pendant that we care about. So that is just absolutely stunning. And then this brooch with this huge green, faceted green glass. Look at that. 
unbelievable. Just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then the final couple pieces. So this is a morning brooch that I believe is maybe bogwood. It's got a little nick in here that is got wood and then back here there's I don't know if somebody like drilled into that I'm not sure what happened there but it's wood so is this bog wood that's what I wonder I looked it up and underneath the black of the wood it could be the brown so that's what I'm wondering um so I don't know if this is bog wood um it could be a lacquered wood but it's so beautifully and intricately carved or this could be something mounted on wood. So I need to do more research on this one, but if anybody's got ideas, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know what your thoughts are. It actually kind of almost does look like this is mounted on the wood. But yeah, let me know. This is a sterling pin back too. So, and it's an older pin style. So let me know what your thoughts are. Um, and then I got this glass one, this glass morning brooch, which is really beautiful. Um, this was at the thrift or at the um, flea market today. And it's just a C clasp and it does look like something was stamped on the back and I don't know what it might have been but this is definitely glass, a molded glass. And then I got real cameos. So this was at the online estate sale that was local. This is Athena. This is nine karat gold. Um, at least I'm, I'm about sure it's nine karat because it, I only have 10 karat solution. This is gold. I tested it. It's not marked, but I tested it and it, it didn't, it ate through the 10 karat gold, but it took a long time. And after 30, you know, you're supposed to leave it on for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, the lines were still there, but it was just faint. And so when I was reading, um, if your line is still there, but it just has lightened, it most likely is like nine karat. If it's, uh, if you are testing with a 10 K. So I looked that up, and so I'm pretty confident to say this is a nine karat gold frame. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Looks like there is a sticker on the back, but absolutely, like, look at that. That's just so incredibly detailed. Absolutely beautiful cameo. And then last but not least, this is my absolute favorite find of the day. I got this at the flea market. I don't know whether or not I actually filmed this. I have to go back and look, but it is the Three Muses. Look at how detailed this is, the three muses. And this is in um, 800 silver. So there's your 800. It's in eight, yeah, that's an eight, 800 silver, um, seven inches. This is absolutely stunning. And this is all shell cameo, all carved shell cameo. So, so, so amazing. I am just in love with this bracelet so that is my haul so please let me know what your favorites were and uh let me you know let me know what you thought of this haul and uh if you are interested in any pieces um these will be available in a couple days uh for pre-sale and let me know if you're interested just give me the timestamp and the piece that you're interested in and i will let you know what the prices are but they will be also available during my live sale, I have live sales on Thursdays and Saturdays. So um, both of them are at 7 p.m. Eastern. Or feel free to join my, um, check out my memberships and you can have access to pre-sales early uh, on Mondays during a live, members only live, and that is at 6 p.m. Eastern. So please go ahead and check those out and I look forward to hearing from you. But definitely let me know what's your favorite piece. Thanks so much, you guys, and we'll see you the next time. Love you all. Bye.